A dangerous few days ahead as our bodies adjust to daylight saving time. On the Monday after we spring ahead, did you know there is a 6.7% increase in fatal car accidents? That's pretty scary. And a 24% increase in heart attacks. So can you help your body make that small shift? Here with some tips is the host of the Dr. Oz Show, Dr. Mehmet Oz. Thank you so much for being with us. You've kind of had me. I, was, I could not believe these statistics. First of all, this day and age, we don't even know there's daylight saving time unless you watch the news because our, our clocks automatically spring forward. If you have an iPhone or if you have an iWatch, it automatically springs forward for you. But we all lost an hour of sleep on Saturday night. But circadian rhythm doesn't get fooled so readily. And remember, daylight savings time is a modern construct. It was created initially during the World Wars in order to help productivity. Uh, in the 60s and 70s, people thought they'd save energy, so they made it sort of a national endeavor because every state was different until then. And, and then the question really is does it really help us as a nation and that's part of the reason I got interested in this topic so we have this thing called the sleep score mm -hmm. study it was the biggest study ever done in America with a high quality device so what was your score so I'll give I have my here's my score from last night as an example okay. I'm gonna put it up there for everybody this is how I did last night and it's pretty similar to how we all did if you look at my score and we'll get up in a second I'll explain it there I am you know I got an 82 which is a B minus now notice in the very top there on the left is a little, little yellow box that's next to the blue boxes. That yellow box means it took me a long time to get to sleep. Once I got to sleep, I stayed asleep. But when you wait to get to sleep, you lose sleep time. So my total sleep for the night was actually under six hours. That's pretty consistent with probably what the rest of the country was feeling, Well, we right? know that now because we have the data from the rest of the country. So we find that the average American, historically, we thought we lost about 40 minutes of sleep. So this clock jumps ahead, springs ahead an hour, and you try to make up for it. So you do a little bit, mm -hmm. but you lose about 40 minutes. The sleep score study shows the loss is about half that. So not quite as bad as we thought. But here's the bigger issue. We began to look at what other problems occur. You mentioned car accidents. 21% of traffic fatalities are linked to sleepiness. Not to alcohol or drugs, but sleepiness. Yeah. So we have an increase in that the week after. We also have more heart attacks, especially today. Monday is going to be a big day for heart attacks, unfortunately. Strokes increase. So we pay a penalty physically for not being able to sleep normally. And people try to rough it through it, but we start to so realize. What do we do? Well, there's a lot of things we could do. First is consistency. So you actually have to practice. You basically are time shifting like you travel, like jet lag. Mm -hmm. So if you can start even Friday before or Thursday before the, t the shift to, to begin to urge yourself up, you get used to going to sleep earlier. The same as I had trouble falling asleep last night because my clock was off, most of America did. So consistency helps with that. It turns out alcohol does not hurt you. We That's this, great this news, Doctor. Say that again. <laughs> for, 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 Brian's taking notes over right. there. Steve is too. So sleep uh, is actually helped a little bit by alcohol. You can't have a ton of it. Uh, and you want a glass of wine before you go to bed. It helps it, calm you down. It, it does seem to work. Okay. Caffeine doesn't hurt as much as we thought. Well, you can have up to three cups of coffee. It doesn't seem to hurt your sleep. Mm -hmm. But taking aggressive stimulants isn't going to help you through the night mm -hmm. uh, nearly as much. And then you, you want to be able to see bright light early in the day. The best way to deal with jet lag in general, but to deal with the sleep problems that America's facing right now is to get up in the morning early like you normally would uh -huh. and then see bright light because the bright light locks in your circadian rhythm so about That's easy 16, to do. Yeah, okay. 16 hours later you'll start to wake up. Now remember this time of year when you shift earlier part of the reason you have more traffic fatalities is still dark so some people buy lights for their home that mm -hmm. you see that bright light mm -hmm. but you get outside it help, makes a difference. All right great to see you Dr. Oz. You're such a genius. I love listening to you. Thank You're you. You're very kind.